Hi, I'm Steve Batten and I work for Z Systems. MB has asked me to give you a demonstration on one of our utilities, which is the Z Axis Import and Export Utility for QuickBooks Online. Um, I'm afraid that I can't be with you in person today. Um, I'm based in Sydney, Australia, but I'd really like next time that I come over and hopefully can meet you all. We regularly exhibit at QuickBooks Connect. Um, we have a stand there, so if you are coming to that in the next few years, then um, please come and look us up. So in this demonstration, I've chosen a couple of challenges that typically our customers face and something that Z-Axis can resolve for you. One of those is importing IIF files into QuickBooks Online, as there's no possible solution for that. The second one is really about tidying up your QuickBooks Online company file using Z-Axis. So sit back, enjoy the show. Um, at the end, I'll run through some of the options that you can do to trial the product and how much it costs and where you can get it from. And if you do have any questions, please email those to me at support at zsystems.com. Thanks a lot. So I'm gonna show you how you can use the Z-Axis utility to import IIF files into QuickBooks Online. So here's an example of a standard IIF file which contains some invoices. Now, this format is been fairly widespread use in QuickBooks Desktop, but with the advent of QuickBooks Online, there hasn't been a way that you can import those types of files directly into QuickBooks Online. So, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can now provide a solution for your clients to take IIF files and get those into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. So the first step in the process is to open your Z-Axis software and connect to the QuickBooks Online company file. So once we're connected, we click on the Import tab and we'll browse to the IIF file that we wish to import into QuickBooks Online. Z-Axis supports multiple types of IAF files, whether they're invoices, checks, bills, and so on. It also supports importing lists that are in IIF format as well. So the second step in the process is to, is to create a mapping. So we select the transaction type that we wish to import, it's going to be an invoice, and we go through a process of matching the fields in QuickBooks Online to the columns in the IIF file. So once we've mapped all the fields that we need, the ones marked in yellow are mandatory, we give the mapping a name. And save. So in this preview screen we can see all the fields that are going to be imported and we can go ahead and edit that if we need to. And once we're ready click on import. Access will validate the data and then it will go through a process of then importing that directly into QuickBooks Online. So we're taking an IO file and now importing that directly into QuickBooks Online. Once it's complete, we'll get a message that the import has been successfully completed and we can switch now to QuickBooks Online to see those transactions. So I click on the View button here and it'll take me to that invoice directly in QuickBooks Online that we've just imported. And there we have the invoice that we just imported from the IIF file. So that's it, quick demonstration on how Z-Axis can take IIF files and pass those and upload those directly into QuickBooks Online to create pretty much most transaction types and list types are supported. So another reason why you might want to use Z-Axis with QuickBooks Online is what I classify as really tidy up or cleaning the QuickBooks data, QuickBooks Online data. 
So that might be um, that they've entered transactions incorrectly into QuickBooks Online, um, used the wrong tax code, used the wrong class, etc. Or it could be that they've actually been entering the transactions into the wrong QuickBooks Online company file and you need to extract the transactions from one QuickBooks company file and put them into another. Or it could be you just want to batch delete a whole load of transactions and re-enter them again. So that's another way that Z-Axis can provide you and your clients additional value as a utility. So let's show you, I'll show you a demonstration just of how that works now. So I'm going to show you how with Z-Axis you can batch modify transactions in QuickBooks Online. Um, so here we have three invoices and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually edit in batch using Z-Axis these invoices. So let's have a look at these ones. So what I want to do is I want to say, for example, I'm going to change um, whether it's taxable. I'm going to change the sales tax. So the first thing that we do is we connect to our QuickBooks file and we're going to actually export out these invoices. So we're going to take from invoice Z217 to Z219. And we export them out. And once they're exported out, we can save them to an Excel file. So here are the um, invoices that we've now retrieved from QuickBooks and we're going to save them to an Excel file so that we can edit them and then re-import them back in and modify those in QuickBooks. So we click on Save. Now if I go to Excel and I open that transaction So here are the transactions that we exported. Now we're going to change some of the data here and then re-import them back in. So we're going to make these now taxable. And we're going to make these non-taxable. And we'll change the transaction tax code as well. So we save the changes now, we switch now back in Axis, we're going to go into the import module. We're going to browse to this file that contains the modified data. Now we're going to apply our map. Next step is also to make sure that we click overwrite. We can go and import those now into QuickBooks. So now Z-Axis has found those invoices and imported the modifications though into QuickBooks Online. So we can go back in and check those. And you can now see that those changes have been reflected in the invoice. So that's very simply how to batch um, modify transactions in QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. So it's also possible to um, batch delete using Z-Axis as well. So let me show you that in action. So what we're going to go through, and we're going to go and select those invoices that we were working on. And we'll retrieve them from QuickBooks Online. Now this time I can select this option here to delete from QuickBooks and I'll, I'll make a, take a copy of it to Excel to be sure. So Z-Axis goes ahead and deletes those from the QuickBooks Online company file and will give us the option to save those deleted transactions to Excel as well.
there you have it. So just another way, quick way of showing you how Axis can um, do main cleanup works in your QuickBooks Online file. So another example I could show you uh, is also how we can extract transactions from one QuickBooks Online file and then put them into another as well. So that's just another example of how that works. Great. Well, hopefully you're still there um, and you enjoyed those two shows, which is great. Um, what to do next? So we have a 30-day free trial that you can download the Z-Axis software and install on your Windows PC and try that out. That then if you like that, then there are options to purchase online. It starts from 195 US dollars for the import module and 285 for the import and export. Now that's a one-time fee, so we only charge you once for that version. We don't charge you any additional fees for extra connections or however many clients you may have, we're not gonna charge you any extra fees. So we've designed this specifically for pro advisors, consultants and bookkeepers as a great utility to help them out with data entry challenges they may have or providing additional services to their clients. So I think this is gonna be really good for you. Anyway, thanks for um, listening to me and um, hopefully we chat soon.